what's up? It's Karina. Today we're gonna be doing a runway try on haul. Oh my god. That was so cringe. I should get off TikTok. I got so much items from Runway this month and I cannot wait to show you guys. So let's jump into the first outfit. I know a lot of you guys are asking me the difference between Shein and Runway and honestly, I don't know, but this is my best guess. So my guess is that they have overlapping styles and clothes, but each store also have their own unique items that the other store doesn't have. So think of it as like a Venn diagram. I'm not sure how much the overlap is though in the middle, but I do know that if you see something on Shein and you like it, but it's out of stock, you can try finding it on Runway. Sometimes you find it, sometimes you don't and vice versa. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, this is the first outfit. Um, I'm just wearing this little tank top that honestly looks like it was made for a five-year-old um, when it's on me and like if it's not trendy right now it just looks like my grandma would totally call me out and say like why are you wearing something that totally doesn't fit you it's supposed to be a crop top you guys know that right it has like a baby blue base with like roses and floral patterns on it not very see-through I mean you can't see my bra under so oh by the way everything will be linked in the description box down below including including what bra I'm wearing because I know you guys ask me that all the time. I'm just pairing it with this cute little high-waisted daisy short. I actually really, really like this because who doesn't like a floral daisy dress, skirt, short, shorts in the summer? <laughs> Okay, for the shorts, I'm wearing a size extra small um, and it fits me really well. It's really comfortable. Sometimes it can get a little bit too big for me, but sometimes it's not, you know, depending on how much I eat that day. If you guys saw my other video on 2020 summer fashion trends, then you know that tie-dye is one of them. So I got this little like pinkish, whitish top from Rongwei and it's a tie-dye style top, which I was really, really looking forward to. Um, I got a size extra small, which is the smallest size they carry. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I mean, it does have kind of like a loose thingy going on bottom here. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be loose on the bottom here. Maybe just because I have like tiny boobs. I don't know. You guys tell me how you feel because I'm not really sure about this piece. Other than the bottom here being kind of floppy. I love the design. I love that it's a tank top. It does come with some kind of stretch and like a ripped fabric. But yeah, if you're concerned about this floppy area going on, you can either like layer on a basic tank top underneath or like a bralette underneath. Another hot summer trend for 2020 summer <laughs> is this cropped little cardigans that are not actually a cardigan in a traditional sense. They're more like a top, like a t-shirt that's knitted with buttons down here or like a drawstring tie. So this one is a white little cropped cardigan with buttons down the middle here. And like, honestly, I got it a size extra small and I should have sized up for this, but I didn't know it was my first time ordering. It's even a little bit too short for me. So my boobs and about here and like one inch below my boobs, which is a little bit too high for me. So I'm just pairing it with this beige plaid skirt with two slits down the front here. And the back has a zipper closure. And I also got this in a size extra small, which is the smallest size. But as you can see here, it's a little bit too loose on me around the waist, but somehow it fits me really weirdly around my hips. To the point where if I try to like take more than 10 steps, it would start riding up. So I would suggest you guys either size down for the skirt or to use a belt to like hold things in place. Other than the weird fit, I really like how it's not see-through and it looks cute. I just gotta say, if you're really, really into these cardigan trends right now for summer 2020, Romy has got you covered because on their side, I saw so many of these like cute little like pastel cardigans and it's honestly all the rage right now. So I picked up another one that's purple colored. This one fit me so much better than the other white one that was like way too small for me. This one actually comes down to about here and there are these like tiny white buttons down the middle here, but they're fake buttons. They don't actually open. I actually like this one more than the white one. Okay, I'm actually obsessed with this next fit this black basic tom has like a one shoulder detail that i'm also seeing a lot in 2020 summer i gotta say the mvp of this outfit is definitely the shorts i was so so impressed when i first put it on these shorts feel really really good and smooth and comfortable like it's not like a see-through or like really really thin fabric it actually feels really like linen-y and the waistband is a super thick elastic band come on look this is the smallest size too i honestly think i would still fit in this even if I was like six months pregnant. And there's a paper bag waist detail that you can tie with these two ribbons that comes with it. So you can tie it in a ribbon like this. Or if you don't like it with the ribbon, you can just remove the ribbon and just add on your own belt. It's comfortable. It looks really flattering on all body types because it's super high-waisted and has a tiny bit of a flare, but like not too much. I honestly think it ticks all my boxes for summer. I'm definitely keeping these ones and like wearing it a lot. 
Keeping the top on, I'm just pairing it with this black daisy floral print skirt that I love, love, love to death. This is like one of my favorite, favorite pieces from Roma. You guys all know I love my floral skirts. I love the skirt first and foremost because it is so <laughs> stretchy. You guys all know I love my... Ooh. And I... Ooh. You guys all know I love my elastic thing because I'm like elastic girl in a way. Yeah, the only thing is that it's not lined on the inside, so it's not double lined. It's only single lined. <laughs> Oh my god, Queen Obvious is back! <laughs> but I love how the length is not too short. So a lot of times for their flary skirts, you don't want the length to be too short because you know you don't want things to like fly up, especially when you're walking. This is a great length and it's very forgiving even if you pick the wrong size because of how stretchy the waistband is. Honestly, you just get it. Who swatched my celebrity lookbook? I put so much, so much time and effort into that one that if you haven't seen it, you might want to go see it because I love you. This top was in it as one of the outfits that Haley wore. Was it Haley? <laughs> it's not actually the top that she wore, but it's inspired by the top that she wore. It's like a gingham pattern and it has these like kind of ruffle shoulder ties and the back here just ties into a back knot so yeah it's pretty like bare back so it's great for those of you girls who want to be like sexy but don't want to like show off your cleavage or like don't want to show off your front and her back quality is amazing it has my Karina stamp of approval all over the skirt it has a side tie detail it looks like a wrap skirt but it just actually comes like this and then you just tie the two sides together like this however tight you want so there's a little bit of room but it's not too forgiving because there is zero elastic in the skirt other than that if you're a fan of ruffles and pinks like me then you would love love the skirt also doesn't this outfit remind you of like a black pink outfit <gasps> oh my god it has been like 700 freaking billion years since they last came out with the song and i'm so excited for 6 to 6 6 p.m anyway we all know it's gonna be great anyway i'll be wearing this on that day Okay guys, the next top, I wanted to like it a lot because it's pastel purple, it's a bandeau and it has a butterfly on it. So basically all three trends for summer 2020. But like after I put it on me, it just doesn't look the best on me. First of all, it's very, very stretchy. So that's a plus, but also I don't know what's with their bandeaus these days. Like look at the bottom here. It's so damn floppy. Let's see if it fits like a bralette. Like honestly, it's just like, Anyway, I still like it for the design, but I mean, if you really, really want to get this, make sure you size down because it does come really loose, especially for like extra small. Like I can't believe this is extra small. Okay, okay, this skirt is a different story. This skirt is an example of a unique piece that you will only find on Romwe and not on Shein. And it's also one of the very rare skirts that you'll find that has a lining on the inside. So double line all the way throughout. It has no stretch whatsoever. It has a little bit of a flare with tiny purple pastel roses. From afar, it just looks like mixed florals, maybe even like a little bit polka dotty. At this price point, I think you're getting a really good deal. Highly, highly suggest the skirt. This next fit is one of my favorite, favorite outfits from this haul and it features this pastel yellow butterfly t-shirt. Who's noticed this shirt from another trial haul? Let me know. Super soft and comfortable to be in. Reminds me of some of the older Brandy Melville t-shirts that are just like a dream to lounge around in all day. Like it's not like restrictive or anything and it's actually super stretchy so I kind of really love that. And it has a butterfly but I don't know guys, you guys can all see. Queen Obvious is back! <laughs> But the denim skirt, it fits me really well. I got it in size extra small and it fits like a true extra small should fit. It has like these daisy prints on it, which is so cute for summer. And it comes with these belt hoops. It doesn't come with an actual belt, but you can feel free to like throw on your own belt. And also a row of buttons down the front here. I actually think this denim is so well made. I mean, it literally blow me into the water. Blow me into the water? Blow me out of the water? Blow me... That's what she said! <laughs> All their denims, super awesome, good quality, stamp of approval, love, love, love their denims. Oh my god, you guys, it's getting way too hot in here. So I put my hair up. Good thing claw clips are back. So I don't have to feel self-conscious about clipping my hair up because honestly, I've been using it for like the past 40 years. <laughs> 
Okay, so I just looked it up and it's actually blow me out of the water. I don't know who needs to learn that today, but I learned it on Google. Google is my best teacher. Remember how I said that Romney denim is just like to die for? This is another denim piece that I'm loving so far. It really just brings me back to my childhood days and I've been seeing a lot of people rock these. What are these called? Yes, they are called denim overalls. Karina, way to be a fashion YouTuber when you don't even know what these are called. You can wear it on the shoulder or you can wear it like this. I'm seeing some people like just rock it like this, which I think is really cute. These straps here on the shoulder, you can totally adjust to your liking. And it has pockets. Why don't I wear more denim overalls? Okay, next up we have this t-shirt that is cropped with little red roses on them. I think the design is super cute. I just wish I had gone one size higher. I mean, like it's cute and everything but it's a little bit too tight for me it's not as stretchy because that's why if you are looking into this piece make sure you size up as well besides the sizing issue the other thing that i'm not too happy about for this top is how see-through it is so it's not see-through in the sense that like it's like glass it's definitely more sheer than your other white tops i would say so just because i'm wearing a nude sticky bra under you can't really tell yeah i changed my mind i actually don't suggest this top at all <laughs> I guess next up we have a blue floral skirt with a side slit and this skirt I thought was so cute on the side and this is also one of those pieces that you can only get at Romwe and nowhere else it has a side zipper and I love the material it's so smooth it has a tiny bit of elastic to it but not on the waist strangely enough no elastic on the waist but waist down fabric's pretty stretchy so yeah that's a bit weird to me i think this is kind of like a girly alternative to all the denims that you're going to be wearing this summer so if you want something a little bit more girly then this is for you because i love the shade of the blue and i love how it fits on me it's really good quality okay let's talk about this shorts this short is actually part of a two-piece set from Romwe and Romwe only and the reason i didn't wear the top with the shorts is because it doesn't like fit me like i can wear it but i would also be like flashing everyone so i didn't wear this on camera the good thing about two-piece sets is that you can separate the top and the bottom and just use them on separate occasions so i think i'm gonna be tossing away the top because it's just too oh my god for me but the bottom is actually one of my favorites from this haul because it is extremely stretchy it's like a sky blue color with floral print designs on them and also it has like a little tiny pom-poms on the bottom here which i think is really cute it's a little bit through but i wouldn't say it's like too bad like as bad as the floral top from before do you guys remember that top oh my goodness okay guys that's it for my runway trial haul i hope you guys liked some of the pieces here and don't forget there's bloopers so don't click away i'll see you in my next video i love you bye hey guys what's up it's your girl <laughs> can totally Oh, that was so cringe.